Good morning. Today is February 28th, 2018, and I'm breaking my nine day fast today. I have actually just cut open this watermelon. I don't know, look at how beautiful that looks. Uh, so, I'm really excited to eat that. It smells amazing, it smells so good. I can't wait. I also have some prunes that are rehydrating. And yeah, that's the plan for today. I'm just going to do the watermelon. I'm gonna cut it into little pieces and take it with me in a container because I'm going to be going to work today. Uh, I'm really excited to go. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. I will keep you posted on what I eat today. I'm feeling a little tired. Yesterday was a really long day. It's just been a really long week, uh, but it's been good. Good stuff has been happening. I've been very productive, at least I feel productive, <laughs> which is half the battle. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have some watermelon today and I will let you know with, I will keep you posted with all the other foods that I'm consuming today. Probably won't be much besides the watermelon, to be perfectly honest. And in addition, I also got my menstrual cycle yesterday and today and it's actually not so bad. It's a little bit dis uncomfortable, like I'm experiencing a little bit discomfort, but it's nothing compared to what it used to be, which is great, which is also one of the reasons why I did this fast. Uh, I was having a lot of menstrual issues and PMS symptoms and all this stuff. And yeah, so that has that has changed a lot, and I barely experienced any. Uh, I barely experienced any PMS symptoms, and I didn't even feel anything happening. Usually, before I would get lower back pain and just feel really emotional, and I would get really mean. And I feel like maybe I did get a little overwhelmed, but it was nothing compared to what has what it has been in the past. I usually just kind of attack Andrew, but he understands and he's wonderful. And anyway, that I thought I'd mention that as well. And also I really, I also noticed that my menstrual flow, this might be a little bit of information for, a little bit too much information for people, but my menstrual flow is, uh, is not as heavy is not as heavy as it has been also. So that is cool too. <laughs> so I was actually wondering if I would get my period at all because I've been doing all this fast and I know I've heard several times from different places, I haven't really done the research about this yet actually, that it's not necessary to get your period and be healthy you can be healthy and not get your period so i'm just interested in that i've learned i've heard about that from a few different places and i just haven't really taken the time to research that and see if that's what i feel about that how many cases there are of that because there's people who've never gotten their period and have still had children because they're still ovulating and apparently according to some people when you get your period it's a sign of detox so yeah, that's a completely new take on female menstrual cycles that I've never heard before. So I am interested in that. I just have a lot of things going on right now and haven't had the time to look at that. But I did get my period, just saying, because I know people have done fasts before they actually stop, uh, they stop menstruating. I haven't broken, broken my fast yet. It's about one o'clock right now. I'm here by a river, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful out, it's sunny, the river's super full, it's just wonderful. I don't know if you can hear the river, but it's just so loud and very peaceful. So I decided I wanna break my fast here with my watermelon. I brought my little container, well, it's not so little, pretty big container of watermelon. It's one full mini watermelon, and we'll see how much I can eat, or how, I, how, much I, how good I feel after eating as much as I want. So that's what the plan is. And I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit, soak in the sun and eat my watermelon and read. Uh, I've been reading 
Proteinaholic by Dr. Garth Davis, and it's really, really great so far, so I'll probably just sit here in the sun and read some more. Anyway, I uh, just thought you would like to know. I thought you would like to know what I'm eating and how I'm breaking my fast, and yep, yeah, the watermelon is how I'm doing it this time. I did it with the prunes last time, but this time it's gonna be watermelon, so. I also brought my bamboo set with me to enjoy my watermelon. You can also eat it with your hands, which I would totally do also. Okay, so I ate about half of the watermelon. I'm starting to feel a little full. And I'm also, I'm eating mindfully. Like I'm at least making a very good effort to eat as mindfully as I can. However, I'm getting a little cold being here because the sun keeps going behind the clouds, but I'm also really, really, really wanting to eat durian. Like, I really just want to eat durian. And I'm not really sure what that is about. Um, maybe I just want the creaminess of the durian, especially since I am currently in my menstrual cycle on the second full day or the first full day. So that could be partly that. Uh, the watermelon is really good though. The middle parts are a little bit sweeter and I like those a little bit better than the outer parts, the one that is closest to the rind. But yeah, I ate it and I'm gonna put it away for now. And I also feel things moving in my intestines, so we'll see how long I stay here or if I can find a place that I might need to <laughs> release. I don't know if that's gonna be the reality of my situation today, but if it is, that's totally okay. I'll dig a little hole and maybe find some leaves. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna stay by the river here for a little bit longer before I start heading back to our house because it's just so peaceful, wonderful. I, should, I wanna show you. So this is the river. And it's just so full right now. So yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan for me today. Just to read a little bit, hang out by the river, and just relax. And think about our logo. <laughs> that's something that we're working on. I think we're working on our logo for our website and everything in general. So we are working on that. And, um, and that is the plan for the afternoon. And I'm really excited because Andrew actually gets out of work at a regular time. He's not on inventory tonight, so he'll be out of work at five, which is great. It's so much better than nine or 12, like the other past two nights. But it's really nice when he's home with me, even if we're not talking so much to each other. It's just nice to be near him. I love him and I'm working on showing it much better than I have in the past. That's definitely a work in progress for me. I have an interesting way of showing it sometimes, but it's mostly to do with me because I have an interesting way of showing myself how much I love myself and that's something that I constantly work on and I'm currently working on and I feel a million times better than I have ever in my life. I feel like, this fast has been really life-changing for me, but I've also felt a lot of confliction in the past few weeks since breaking the fast. I, 
I don't really know how I want to eat personally and I'm reading a lot of books and I know I've been to the Whitsite Fruit Festival so many times and I know I've seen so many people thrive in just raw fruits and vegetables and you know that's really awesome and I aspire to that but I'm just not there yet. I'm just not there yet and I am working on showing compassion to myself about that instead of being really hard on myself. I don't know if I'll ever get to that point honestly of just eating raw fruits and vegetables but I really n no doubt about it I'm never I'm not gonna eat animal products again minus honey which is debatable you know but definitely I'm sticking to a whole plant-based whole foods plant-based diet and that's important to me that's to me it's environmentally friendly it's helping the animals it's helping myself, my health, contributing to my health and have, helping me to stay fit and live a healthy long life. Because for me, I've had a lot of family members suffer from, you, you know, diseases like cancer and heart failure and things like that. So that's something that I don't want in my life because I know how difficult that can be being on medication like that when you don't really need to be on medication. All you really need to do is change your diet and your lifestyle. And obviously the way you think that has a lot to do. So it's like physical, mental, and what you pretty much physically and mentally what you have to do. So anyway, I'm reading Proteinaholic and it's very interesting and it's furthering my What is the word I'm looking for? Furthering my confidence, I guess, in my food choices. My, I want to be confident in the food that I'm eating and also enjoy the food that I'm eating. And while I do enjoy eating fruits and vegetables, sometimes I do get cravings or just wants for something a little bit more hearty, like a bowl of rice and beans. I love rice and beans. I grew up eating rice and beans. That was one of the things my grandparents always made for me, my grandmother's. We go to their house, arroz con gandules, which is a traditional Puerto Rican rice and bean dish. You know, or just rice, or just rice with beans, or, you know, that's what we had. I mean, we also had chicken, but I don't eat chicken anymore. But, you know, rice and beans, I love rice and beans. So it's just like, for me, I feel like there's really nothing that wrong with eating it. And that's, that's what I'm struggling with because I've also, you know, the. I've learned like it is harder for your body to digest than fruits. Yes, I get that, but your body is still able to digest it. <laughs> At least it's not meat and dairy. That's extremely difficult for your body to digest and people eat so much of it. It's crazy. It's so crazy, you know? I was having a conversation today about the paleo diet and I just think that diet is so crazy. That's my opinion. Obviously, you can do whatever you want to do, but just to me, it's just like to eat that much amount of meat every single day, like for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you were a prehistoric caveman, you wouldn't be eating that much meat. No freaking way. No way. You would be walking around, and if there were some berries or nuts or seeds or some greens you could pick off the ground, you would do that. Because it didn't, it's not like you could just go shoot down a, an elk or mammoth or whatever whatever era you're in and just like be like oh look I'm gonna eat this every single day for every day of my life no that's not what they did and there's also times where they didn't eat anything at all where they fasted because they couldn't find food you know and it's just very interesting very very interesting how it can I don't know I think that people just want to find things that justify what to eat which I get because I'm struggling with whether or not I want to eat cooked or not cooked food and I know that's like a little bit it's a lot different than eat, choosing to eat meat or not but you know that's a little struggle within my realm of what I think is healthy so anyway that's the plan for now I'm probably gonna head out soon because the sun has disappeared behind the clouds and I'm getting really cold 
but it's been really wonderful just to sit here by the river and listen. I love water. Our dream home is n is near water. Our dream home, the dream home that Andrew and I are um, planning to live in is definitely near water. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Because I love being near water. I love being near the ocean. I love being near rivers. Like I love being near a stream. I love being near water. It's, it is my life force, basically. It keeps me really calm and at peace, really. Anyway, I will stop blabbing for now. <laughs> And I'll let you know about later. I might just save this watermelon for tomorrow and have some durian later. But we'll see. I might just also finish it in a little bit because I'm starting to get a little hungry again. But we'll see. I'm not, I wasn't super, super hungry when I opened up the watermelon. I haven't really experienced that. But anyway, I, I also don't know if I'm gonna continue to do the, um, Divine Nine cycle of the hybrid for this fast that I'm doing. Cause I really just, I really want to see what happens to me if I decide to add some more cooked things into my life and maybe some more flavors. I definitely don't want to add too much oils into my life cause I don't really feel so well after eating too much oil, but we'll see, we'll see. And I'll definitely keep you posted because I think this is really important. I don't think a lot of people document their life after doing a really long fast or document what's happening, how they're feeling, um, if they gain the weight back. Like, who knows? Like, what if I, I might start eating this food again? Like, I might start eating rice and beans again and I might gain tons of weight. I don't know. But I might not either because I might have cleaned out my bowels enough to be able to process these foods now. Like I wasn't able to process them so much before because I had so much stuff from my childhood backed up. So I don't know, we'll have to see. And I'm excited to share that with you. The good, the bad, the difficult, you know? So anyway, I will stop for now. And until next time, well, probably a little later, I'll let you know what's going on. Okay, so I just arrived home. I smelled the durian that we had defrosting and it just smelled so amazing. So I opened one up and I think I'm gonna have a little bit of it uh, because I'm feeling a little hungry still. It's more that I just really want, just want the durian. It just tastes, it smells so good. It just smells so good. I had the watermelon, which was nice, but I just really, really want durian. So I'm gonna eat it and I'm gonna enjoy every single moment of it. All right, so as I said, I opened up the durian. I took out three of the pots and I put it in a little bowl. So I'm so gonna enjoy this. It smells so amazing. It smells so, so, so good. I'm excited to eat these and then I'm just gonna kind of relax today. There's things that I would like to do, but I'm feeling a little bit tired and not quite as energetic as I have been. And I think that has to do with the fact that I have my menstrual cycle, menstrual cycle, yes, yes. So I have that happening to me right now and I'm just feeling like tired and I just wanna kind of relax and watch a movie or read a book or do both. But I really just need a few moments before I go pick up Andrew. He gets out at five today, it's about three. So uh, it's been about two hours, two and a half hours since I had the watermelon, but I just, I just can't resist the durian right now. Like it's, it smells so good, so good. I just can't resist it. So I'm just gonna eat it, and I will keep you posted how my uh, digestion is working. I think tomorrow I'll have prunes, just to make sure it helps push things out. I also have some prune juice, so I might have some prune juice tomorrow and prunes just to make sure everything keeps moving along like how it's supposed to be, like moving with the ocean. <laughs> anyway, uh, yep, so this is what I'm gonna eat right now.
That was so delicious. That was like everything that I wanted just now. It was creamy, it was delicious, and I am so happy that I opened that up. And then I also thought about taking it out way before so that it wouldn't be frozen still. Oh, that was just so amazing. If you haven't tried durian, I would definitely suggest giving it a try. Obviously, I've actually never tried durian fresh which I hear is complete, like it's completely different. There's no comparison between a frozen one and a fresh one. So one of these days, Andrew and I are gonna go to Thailand and we'll have some fresh durian. However, seeing that we are able to get frozen durian here in the Northeast is pretty amazing. It's so amazing. And I just cannot wait till we have the opportunity to go to Thailand or Southeast Asia or anywhere over there where they grow durian or even Hawaii actually I know there's some there's durian in Hawaii also but it's amazing and I would highly suggest trying it I it smells a little intense I know that if your taste buds aren't pretty clean it can be intense tasting and you probably won't like it but once oh my gosh it's just like I can't even describe it it's just like so amazing oh it's just such a wonderful, 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 delicious fruit. So anyway, that was my durian for the day. Oh gosh, I feel so blissed out right now. So blissed. Oh, it's so good, it's so good. Just the taste, like the aftertaste in your mouth, it's just like, uh, so good. So good. Oh. Oh, that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. And I'm so glad that I did that because otherwise I would just be like, mm, watermelon. No, the watermelon didn't hit the spot. The durian on the other hand. And actually when I ate durian last time, it digested pretty well in my body. So I think I'll be okay. I'll, I'll be fine regardless of what happens, but I think it's easy enough to digest for me. So I'm excited. Ugh. I have two more durian in the freezer and I haven't even, I only had three pods from that one so there's still quite a bit that I get to have from this one that I just opened up but I don't think that I'll have any more today but who knows, we'll see. I just, oh gosh, that was so, <gasps> oh, that was so amazing, so, so, so amazing. Oh, I love fruit, fruit is amazing. But I also do love savory. If I have too much of the sweet stuff, I'm just like, oh, I can't do this anymore. And I just want a huge salad, like, ooh, tomato and onion and cucumber and lemon juice and cilantro and parsley and romaine lettuce and maybe some tahini on top. Oh my gosh. That's also really good for me. Well, to me, it tastes really good. Anyway, that was wonderfully delicious, amazing, wonderful. Oh, I'm in heaven. Anyway. I'm gonna relax now because I have to go pick up Andrew because I'm going to go pick up Andrew in about an hour that I have to leave that I get to leave to go get my hubby. In about an hour I get to leave to go get my husband Andrew. My sweetie pie, my love. I love him. Anyway, so yeah, I'm just gonna relax. I think I'm just gonna maybe watch a TV show. I know, it's my one addiction. I've gotten rid of so many addictions that I've had. You know, I used to go out all the time. I used to want to shop and do all the stuff. And I don't do like anything anymore. The only thing that I do still is watch some TV. I know, I know, you know? I'm only human, one thing at a time. Although my TV watching has gone down significantly, like a lot. I used to watch TV all the time and movies. Basically, I would watch Netflix, so you could watch TV and movies on there. And I do this binge watch thing where I watch a TV show that I haven't watched and just like continuously binge watch it. Where I didn't go to sleep, I would like stay up till four o'clock in the morning. It's crazy, but I haven't been doing that, and I feel really proud about myself about that. 
Instead, I'm working on myself and things I want to pursue in my life instead of watching other people who don't even exist, who aren't even real, have life experiences. You know, it's like, hello, Melissa. Let's, let's live our life instead of living someone else's life that isn't even real. Which one's better? Like my life. But anyway, I do it sometimes but I'm getting a lot better at not watching TV anymore. It's an addiction. So anyway, on that note, I'm probably done for the day with eating. But if anything changes, I'll let you know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please. And if you wanna see more videos and know when our videos are coming out, subscribe below, hit the subscribe button, and please comment. I'd love to hear from you. This is a new experience for me. I've never fasted this long before and this is just a really interesting experiment that I'm doing uh, documenting my after, my post fast. I'm really curious to see what will happen, how I will feel, what, what my life will end up being after this fast because I don't really see people doing much of this right now and it's confusing and Food is sometimes, well, for me, a little bit confusing, which is why I keep reading books about health and nutrition and being as healthy as you can be. And, you know, there's a lot of people who read something and they're like, this is the be all end all. And I think that also I'm holding on to things still, which I'm working on releasing. So thank you so much for watching my journey. I'm so appreciative. And thank you so much for supporting us and our channel. Anyway, on that note, I'll see you later. Have a great rest of the day. Bye. All right, you guys, so today's day one. I just want to let you know that I actually ended up eating like five more pods of durian. And right now I'm making a vegan vodka sauce. And I did try a little bit, a little bit. So we'll see how I, I react to that. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it. It just, I just wanted to see if it tasted any good. And it tasted really good. So we'll see how that goes. I am, we'll just see how it goes. I mean, I think the worst that could happen is that I'll get maybe a little bit of cramping in my stomach or maybe I'll have more cramping for my period. So we'll see. I just wanted to try it. So we'll see what happens. Um, and if I do have something like, you know, some pains and stuff, I'll know exactly why. So I will report that tomorrow, see how I feel. Uh, that's about it. I just wanted to let you know and be honest with you about that. The sauce that I made doesn't have any oil in it. However, it does have some cashews in it, so that's what I'm a little concerned about. However, I did eat a lot of durian today too, so we'll see. I'm just, I think when, when I get my period, I go a little bit like, and I just, it's a lot more difficult for me to stay on track with things when I have my period because I'm just like, oh, that looks great. That looks great. That looks really good. And anyway, that's what has happened. And I wanted to be honest and let you know. It was probably about, the sauce I tried, maybe like half a teaspoon, probably, maybe half a teaspoon of it. So, you know, it's a significant amount, so we'll see how if I react to that or not. So, I look forward to reporting that to you guys. But for now, I think that's all I'm going to have for the rest of the day. I'm going to be really good and not eat anything else. I just, the durian just smelled so good, I just wanted it. I don't, I don't know, something, just wanted it. So we'll, we'll see. I also did a Kalima board tonight because I was experiencing some period cramps, so I was just like, well, you know, let me just do a Kalima that can't quite hurt, so I did that too. Have a wonderful night. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to our channel below. You can click the subscribe button, and uh, that way you can get updates of when we post new videos, and also, please comment. Please let me know what you're thinking. Have any questions, things like that. We can start a conversation. 
we can also answer your questions in videos that we do. So please, please, please comment. We'd love to hear from you. I hope you have a wonderful night. I hope you had a beautiful day and sleep tight and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye. Okay, so one more thing. I also had a coconut water. Coconut water. I'm so struggling right now. I don't know what is happening. I also think that the full moon is coming and I don't know. Everything is just like, I'm just struggling right now. I know how important it is to break the fast correctly, but I broke it correctly after the 108 days and I felt like totally fine. And then I did this nine day fast and now I'm just like totally struggling breaking the fast. Just totally struggling and that's where I am right now. And that's okay. That is totally okay and I know that I will have to deal with the consequences. Whatever they may be, if there are any. I don't know. I don't know, I've never done this before. So, anyway, I just wanted to put that out there because I was like, you know, I'm kind of thirsty. It's really hot in our tiny house. I'm literally just wearing a tank top and underwear. But I'm not gonna show you that. I'm sure you know what legs look like. But, yeah, it's really hot and I'm having a hard time and I'm struggling and I'm totally okay with that for once in my life. I'm actually okay with that. You know, I mean, it's not my favorite feeling in the world, but you know, this is where I am right now and that's totally, totally fine. Why is it not fine? I'm the one who's in charge of that, I guess. That's what my, my frustration is. You know, I listen to so many other people and I really have a difficult time listening to my own intuition and myself. And then I have like these like million thoughts in my head and then I struggle so much with like, what's healthy? What should I eat? I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? And then I never decide for myself. I don't know. Something that I am currently working on. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know that I am also drinking coconut water. And yes, so now I'll be done with the video. And again, this is the first day of breaking my nine day fast instead of the 108 day. So it's not quite as long. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Anyway, I just wanna let you know that that's what's happening with me.